What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Spanish Empire. So to pick up where we left off, uh, we are attacking this force outside of Tbilisi, ready to make our final push against the Ottoman Empire. So we're going to attack this force outside the city, draw in the garrison, and then probably use the force down here at Yerevan to make the final assault against the remaining garrison. So let's crack on. The actual army that's coming in to reinforce us is the one that actually is a bit more um, normal. It's more balanced between artillery, cavalry and infantry. The one up front is just a bunch of melee units generally and skirmish cavalry. So let's take them out. But this will be the end of the Ottoman Empire um, after Tbilisi has fallen, bringing yet another uh, glorious empire to a close under Spanish uh, Spanish power and new lands under Spanish rule. And then after this our forces can then swing east along the Caucasus, hit um, the likes of Dagestan, and then push southeast to help support our troops in India. So let's form a bit of a defensive position, just to see see how what the threat lay down is. Put one gun team in the line, one gun team on a bit of raised ground to the rear to do some counter battery work. Position some of our troops pretty rough and ready. The idea being that we will probably push anyway. My lancers are quite experienced. Any reinforcements coming in offset? Offset left, so they're coming in over here. They're dropping carcass shot on my cavalry. Bring our cavalry into the action. Advance a line on the here just a little bit further up. Howitzers focus on the cavalry ahead of us. Push our cavalry up onto the hill. Yeah, skirmish cavalry. I thought something. I thought you guys kind of vanished a little bit. Charge my lances into the Azar. Tatar uh, have gone Tatar. Curacius swing left, hit the horsemen. Let's probably try and get some infantry onto the hill. Fusiliers will need a bit of support because what we are going to find is we have fusiliers to face off against a melee infantry threat. Come on, try and make the Azar break. And then when that's done with, bring my cavalry back down the hill. Gunners hit the Tartar. They might be going after my Fusiliers, but they are skirmish cavalry, so it's not too much of a problem if they go for my Fusiliers. My fusiliers are very capable infantrymen. run my cavalry out the way because we're about to see volley fire attack ground quick climb so let's take two of these units bring them up bring them to bear against the battle 
against the current force. There we go, we can see the volleys coming in. I mean, how it's a shots would be great right about now. Swiss line engage the Bashi Bazooks. Bring my cuirassier over to help them out. Get my lances up the hill. Yeah, the attack ground was just a bit late. Switch you guys to round shot. Because Swiss line's good, but I'm just curious how well they'll hold up against the Bashis. See how my Swiss line takes that charge. Again, they don't like it, but the Bashi Bazook won't like it much more. So advance my new line up, although you're probably going to have to dump into square because there's Tartar coming your way. Focus all my artillery against that unit. They're shattered. Advance my line up. Yeah, my lance has got hit by the Delhi horsemen. They're shattered, so push my cavalry up the flank. All my artillery fire instead go after the Armenian archers. My howitzers can limber up. So let's pull my lancers back, see if the Delhi horsemen follow. Form square again. So we're engaging the Israeli. This cavalry is not done nearly as much as it needs to on the hill. But then again, it's not really needed. It's clearing out the Israeli already. You men advance against. Well, don't push up against the Delhi horsemen. Form a, form a firing position and engage. Gunners can also support. My howitzers can trundle further up. My lancer guards can hit the Tatar. Get my infantry up here. My lancers should do a number on the Tartar, at least in the initial charge, so I can bring my cuirassier up to help out. This fight here against the enemy cavalry has gone well. There we go. These Tartar are in a very bad way. You men push on and hit the Armenian archers. First auto coming back, but I really want to push these guys out of this position. Up towards they can be a bit more useful. So I'm hoping. There we go. The Azars will break. Slam my cuirassier into the maelstrom. Because all of the Ottoman forces over here have been destroyed. Right now, my cavalry is just mauling there. Position. So let's pull my cavalry back. So we're starting to get a bit lost on who's where and doing what. This 
so my infantry units that are in quite good shape advance my cavalry swing over here although to be honest you might just carry on so then my swiss line and this regiment of foot There we go, Daddy Horsemen are upset. But I want to try and roll in more infantry to support the flank down here. So they can roll this line up like so to surround and destroy the forces there. So you men might run past the combat there to engage the archers. You men might run past the combat there to engage the guns. Swiss line advance up like so. The howitzers are still getting into position. The, the artillery is going to be fairly useless. I'd like them up here now, but that's not going to happen. My infantry is doing quite a good job at holding off their main line. But what we're seeing is... Okay, there we go. Get my cavalry back. New men reload and engage the Armenian archers. So they're now being engaged in the rear. Fusilier units taking a hammering. Actually terrain constraints by the looks of it there. Might even bring my cavalry to bear here. To abandon you. Just get my archers over. Just get my archers involved. Pivot you guys. Just pretend they don't exist. Oh, there we go. One of my cavalry units can gun them down. Or chase them down. So you men can push up to engage the square. The Semini and so on have been engaged by my infantry that's on the flank. Well, that's going to be it very soon, I think. You men advance. These units have come back, but they will not be back for long. Seventh Order that's currently forming up in square is looking like quite a ragged square. Yet they're broken. Third are upset. There's a unit of Semini routing the seventh are also upset. So you men advance. The last thing standing is the fourth Order in square. Everyone else is just running around like a headless chicken trying to flee. Brave but foolish. Oh, there they go. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. The, the Ottoman forces in the field have been destroyed. They have a handful of units in a port to the west. Adelante, en marcha. New men probably could do the attack, but let's see if Mr. Kiroga... You can leave Yerevan. You need better roads. But you men march up. Let us make the assault on Tbilisi and knock out the Ottoman Empire. This empire that's been a major part of our campaign in Europe for so very long is going to finally be brought to an end. And then our forces can then focus on um, surrounding and destroying the Persians and then we can form up a new front line in India. England expects that every man will do his duty. Indeed, good sir. No fancy tactics. We're going to blow away in. And to be honest, a number of our attacking position, attacking units can just attack right from the off. Ooh. Okay, there we go. So let's pick target for the gunners. 
you men hold a position near the gate. Let's get a unit to run around and secure the far gatehouse. You men attack there, you men attack here, you men attack there. Push out my gunners. My front line, push up. Armed populace, armed with some pretty funky looking swords, but they don't even have shields. Yeah, there's a couple of garrison units, but meh. The role of the cavalry is to exploit any gates that we secure to charge in. And the, and the strong desire to try to blow open a hole in the wall that we can exploit. Unfortunately, the unit that was one of the units that was being focused against is a unit that whose job was to just bung up um, the access from this gate. We're making our way in. It looks like these guys want to try and actually come out the charge out the gate, which would be great for us. You're going to run and go for that section specifically, so the 8th Light Horse can get in. The job of these men is to secure the wall. You men climb here as well, because I'll be able to put some bayonets into the backs of Ottoman troops. These guys have twigged what's going to happen. These Azar are not going to be able to hold the gate. So yeah, by pushing, by making my guys right click to advance, some of them are actually going to go up here and in, and some of you guys are going to go up here and in. Very well. You men secure the gate. Because there's only a handful of Azar and they're about to leave. So... Yeah. There we go, we've captured that gate, so now my this cavalry can run in. So these units might well get repelled from the Israeli. Because Israeli aren't they're not terrible units, they're not necessarily brilliant. Good, there we go, we've secured the main gate. Dropping carcass shot on the men trying to defend the wall. Just get as many of our men off the wall as we can. Now we own the gate, they can afford to... I mean, the cavalry looks determined to get stuck, so let's give them attack orders to see if that will change their calculus any, any some. So my hussars go in against the mortars, my light cavalry 
go in against the armed populace. Let's knock out some of these fellows. Let's get a unit to run up to the... Actually, get a unit to run over here. So we've taken this wall, so our cavalry can also push in here. And our infantry can also push in to attack the enemy. Push on and attack the mortar garrison. Oh, they're routing. So you men charge into the remaining troops. You men run off the wall. Not quite sure what's causing you guys to, to run around like that. Pathfinding in forts can always be a bit funky. And there we go, you men charge in. Lots and lots of chaps that are incredibly unhappy with the pastor events. The light horse actually are stuck. Well, they were anyway. Let's get the 92nd to hold on to the central square. Slam into the back of the armed populace. There's a large section of them here pinned against the building. They can't stick around for very long, surely not. Then again, we're about to capture the. <laughs> Hello, Mortar Garrison came back. But we've captured the town, so. These guys don't matter. <laughs> Unless they get within range to uh, reset the clock. But they haven't. Huzzah! So Tbilisi is ours. Huzzah and hurrah. So, so long, Ottomans. Let's get rid of the university. They probably won't like us anyway. So we can try and exempt them from tax. We can't rebuild the city. Mr. Roig, you can... Push onward towards Ardabil. My spies are still advancing. You've landed. Narun is three turns away from being um, fortified. Jamie de Azara. You can get to Crimea and probably take a sloop Ooh, I'll be careful where I'd leave them though take a sloop to a nabba and then they will sail next turn to India and to be honest you this army will probably join them There you go. Sail across to India. We've got another army being raised in Spain. It's pretty awesome. Obviously, we need to knock out. We do need to knock out Denmark at some point. We just do. How's their political situation? Allied with the Cherokee is the frustrating one. Let's hit in turn. My priests and spies march on to the farthest reaches of enemy lands. Uh, do I want to intercept them with all my sloops? No, I do not. Ooh, they've they've um, fortified Chakask, or they've uh, they've consolidated around Chakask. 
I'm not interested in that Russian fleet. I've got a set of force rates to bottle them up just to prevent them fr from leaving the Adriatic, but I'm not... Well, I think that's the Adriatic. I've got a set of fleet of actual ships to prevent them from getting up to too much mischief. Yeah. I think, yeah, Purge has got to be careful, because Esfahan will fall. We've got armies on the way. And also we've got armies marching up towards Zahedin, which is also Persian at this stage. Here come the... Here come the... Uh, the Mughals, that's for darn sure. Soon the Cherokee may land and attack Charleston. Which if they do, that'll be frustrating, because I'll knock everything down, but... Mm. Right away, good sir. New town emerges. I am not going to try and pronounce that in West Prussia. 134,000 this time. It's just so much to spend money on. Like farms, industry, even the buildings that don't directly earn me money. I think what I'm just most averse to is just seeing those hammers. And we spent so long where we would capture lots of territory, but we wouldn't actually have the capital to invest in it in the way that we need to. But let's just do a dump a bunch of money into upgrades. So I'm, like, I'm going to keep going so I find my next industrial town. Industrial town, not mine. There we go. So, let's do something about all of these guys. Because Brandenburg does not need a general. So you men can replenish. We can recruit a new general. André Muti. Let's get Unif Carabinier or Royale, Unif Curacier, and a Regiment of Horse, Spanish Hussars, Guerrilla Commanders. Okay, I'm, I am going to look at all that, but I'm going to get those for my units that are attacking, that I'm recruiting in Spain. Get two Regimento in Memoria del Rey. Looking for foot artillery that's not rubbish. 12 pounders are okay. They'll do. There probably are 24 pounders hidden somewhere around here, but... Oh, well, there we go. Once these guys are all recruited, that's a full army. Good stuff. I suppose I could probably stand to do a bit of this. Um, very well. Let's take a pikeman. Congratulations, Fabio de Croix. You are now... A fully fledged general. So you are going to get a Guardia de Corps, Carabinero de Real, and a Royal Crassier Guard. So I've got seven slots to play with here, so the remaining four have to be artillery. So 12, two 24 pounder howitzers, two. Not, I'm not getting puckle guns. They're a waste of time. Oh man, there's such some cool units I can see. Guardia della Infanteria. Soon, soon. 24 pounders will do. And that'll be two armies completed out of garrisons that we already have. I might send this block of infantry back to Spain where they can join some more elite forces. God, so much stuff to build. Do a bit of infrastructure spending. Because roads are just so powerful late game. Whoops. 
Army, no, not army. Infrastructure. Uh -huh. I forgot Yerevan had basic roads. Okay, before we worry too much about America, let's go over to. Firstly, you, Augustine Demacado, you can leave Istanbul. Where you will join a fourth rate, because it'll take two turns either way. And then you will sail also to India. Or oh, can I build fourth rates quicker here? No. Okay, stops. But okay, I've, I've, I've invested a bunch of in money upgrading my upgrading my buildings. So Mr. Chavez, advance towards Esfahan, put it under siege. They're bringing in a serious amount of reinforcements, but what I want to do is to take this bulk force out and attack my Russian Cossack unit, which is way overkill, but meh. You are waiting for... Nothing useful. Get down here for support. You've got no interesting units, so this is an army that would I would ordinarily send to um I'd ordinarily send I would like to send back to Spain. To be refitted into some interesting units. Um or be refitted with some interesting units, but I don't think I can get them. Except for Colonial Militia. Oh, the Army Staff College will get us some. But I'll take time. Let's recruit a Desert Warrior unit. Actually, let's recruit a... Another Cavalry unit. But yeah, you men... Oop. You men advance to support Mr. Chavez here. Let's repair or replenish our army in Tbilisi. Let's build you into a coaching inn. Repair the royal palace. Mr. Roig. March on towards Ardabil. Which we are going to take. Okay, they are side of the river or their side of the river? Wait a minute. Is New Spain giving them Russian territory? Well, it's about to say, has New Spain given them territory um, in the Americas? I don't think they have. Well, you've signed your death warrant. When we've taken out the Pueblo Nations, we will march on Mexico, New Spain. Um, okay, okay, okay. So... You're replenishing. You're replenishing. You are on your way. To be honest, that's probably overkill. Because this force can probably... Oh no, I was supposed to demand the surrender of Petrovskaya. Okay, we've got a couple of city fights to do first. We need to take Petrovskaya. We need to take... Ardabil... You guys definitely can't leave yet. Although I better not upgrade that yet. Okay, first of all, let's let's take Petrovskaya from the Russians, because this is the kind of territory you want to take. And then quite quickly push on into Russian rear areas to prevent them from recruiting troops to send to raid against us, because that would be Incredibly frustrating. But this should be fairly quick. Deploy all my howitzers. My grenadiers plus infantry can go through the town. My main line is going to advance up the left flank. 
with the bulk of the cavalry. Yeah, so it looks like the enemy likes that plan. So look, it means that you guys might end up actually running through the town. You can advance up it. No worries. But what you're actually going to see is most of our men are going to run straight past them. Well, they're going to run straight through the town. They're not going to have to secure it street by street. Oh, they only, got, they only got two. They only killed two men with that quickline volley. Bad luck for them. But my infantry line are going to sweep away the 12th regiment and its file our calm citizenry. I might bring my fusiliers. Well, I put them out like that. Put you men. Up here, point blank range. You men fill in the gap here. All of you men engage the Russian infantry. The cavalry push around to their rear. Get this mighty block of Spanish troops pushing through the town. Swiss grenadiers bringing up the rear. Those two units have already collapsed. Yeah, you attack them just to make sure they don't come back. The 11th Regiment doesn't look happy at all. You men might even fire it well off. We're going to run... Run these troops through the gap and... <laughs> my God, just charge the armed citizenry. They got their volley off. To be honest, Fusiliers are, are enough as well against armed citizenry. Ceasefire the artillery. Yeah, that's them broken as well. My right hook didn't even get to land. Still, it's a good victory for our forces. Oh, it's quite a nice little territory to hold, really. Let's upgrade roads, because then you can march on to Archangels, can mop up Ust. I mean, you can come back, ready to gun it towards that army there. Although, if I take all of my infantry out of Kiev, which is no longer needed, they can run up and hit this cavalry force. Bam. Okay, they've retreated within range of Moscow. Let's run this other infantry unit all the way over towards Spain. I could sail them by ship, but I'm not interested in doing that. Jean Mazdeu advance against Georgi Tvelich. That raiding force has been destroyed. We successfully able to leave Moscow. So this force can head east to Kazan. You're able to hit that army there, but I'd like to get a bit of a punishment done. I mean, we are going to have to... We are going to declare war on the new Spanish. They're not going to let that... We're not going to let that stand. The new men, let's attack Ardabil. I mean, we could try and buy it off of them, but where's the fun in that? We're getting our opportunity to order 66 these guys to take them out. But that does mean that a couple of the armies I'm standing up, well, the two armies that I'm currently building up can redeploy, ready, to attack the new Spanish in the Americas. The devils. 
very well. Our gunners can deploy up front because we can't directly assault the town. Let's create two attack companies or two attack brigades to push either flank. Wherever they are weakest, we can push. Our fusiliers can hold the center. With the field marshal in reserve. Okay, so they've deployed all the way back on the right flank. So this this you these men can walk. And the men over here. Run. Cavalry get over here. Towards the centre. Fusiliers can take position here. Artillery is engaging. I'm sure they do have more troops than this, but... There they are. There's the howitz. There's the, the mortars. Unlimber the howitzers and we can advance them up. Oh, the bouncing shot could have almost got one there. This gun team might have to halt fire for now because they're at danger of killing one of our howitz teams if we're not careful. So you men now run because they're starting to approach the head of the or the top of the headland. Run our cavalry up the flank because their mortars are potentially ready to take. Our left hook is going to take some time to get into position. The mortars are engaging our main line. But we've got some troops ready to begin engaging. So let's take some of these units and begin folding in the flank. The fusiliers are ready to engage the 6th. My cavalry knock out their mortars. I don't think the 6th are going to be here for very long. Nope. They've sounded the retreat. The enemy mortars have been... Well, will, will soon be dealt with. Really fold our flanking because they're advancing down towards us for some reason. Man, if we can make the 7th Regiment rout, then that's the whole lot. Yeah, there they go. Look at that. Could potentially get some kills here, but... Our, our cavalry are pretty experienced as it is. They don't really... This is quite, an, quite a, uh, a veteran force. Um, so we're not so bothered about... Driving up the experience level. Obviously we can't do much here. Coffee house, Iron Master's Forge, coffee house, coaching in. No, you don't need all of these. One of them, fine. So when these guys are brought into into the fold, we can push against Taki. But I think Vito, who's going to hit them? Oh, Mr. Cuesta, you're going to hit Isidore Sherme. Sheremetev, with your very, very elite force here. I mean, this force, 
Well, their first blood is going to be Spanish. Well, new Spanish, but don't tell them that. It's a nice little army. Too bad it must be destroyed on its push eastward. But yes, the, the end of Russia is nigh. Soon we can then dump more troops into India. And that'll be pretty nice. I mean, Persia won't be a complete pushover because we have Zahid and, and, and Afghanistan to secure, which will increase our front line with the Mughals. So there's a danger that if we drive north and capture those territories quickly, then what we will actually see is a bit of a bit of pushback. So one set of guns is going to deploy... Probably here. A lob round shot at range. Let's take a Regimento de Sevilla. And two units of line. They're going to be in the center. We're going to bring up two gun teams as part of our line. So on each flank, let's take a selection of our remaining units. So Walloon line. Cool looking regiment of line infantry on our left. We can have an Irish, the Irish Brigade, Grenadiers and Walloon line. Pikes. Back up each set of guns. Cavalry on either flank. Howitzers deploy to provide covering fire off the bat. Dragoon Regiment on the flank. Provincial Cavalry run to deal with them. My infantry line will follow shortly. Get my gunners into the new position. There was quite a nice opportunity to get some good quick climb kills, but... Ooh, a big unit of Dragoons. Tertio Pikemen, get up here. Cavalry for pull off. Run my gunners away. The Mione Streltsy, they're a weak unit. Mass cavalry effort on the flank. Okay, let's get my gunners into a better position with a bit more cover. These two units don't need to be in square. Matercio Pikeman battle with the 1st Regiment. Pikes up, get my regiment of horse to shoot past them. You men on limber. Actually, just get my gunners away. Get out of square and counter charge the first regiment of militia. You men get out of square, join these troops, and join the push on the right flank. Provincial cavalry try knock out the dragoons. Peel off, you men pivot, ah. get out of square, you men pivot, follow the flank, push the cavalry up, push the pikes up. The dragoons are going down, you men bayonet charge the remaining dragoons, you men run, push up our pikes. Actually no, don't, hold them back. 
make sure our artillery is engaging on a is engaging suitable targets. So the dragoons are down. You men push on into the regiment of foot. So they're all to be engaging with 21st foot guards. Poor souls. Regimento de Sevilla is engaging. 28th. The walls taking some of the shots, but elsewhere. We are doing rather well. Get my pikemen to pursue their. cavalry unit. Advance my line ahead of this set of guns. Go on, my pikes but my pikes will chase them down eventually. You men need to push. Look, they have orders to attack the garrison guards, but they're still deciding. No, we want to go attack the tenth. It's like no, that's not how this works. Ah, these do. These guys gave my men the slip. It's a regiment of horse on the flank. You men push past the battle line. Both our howitzers drop quick climb ahead of the, the Cossack unit that's currently dug in. And then the original horse has ran into the flank of my Walloon line rather than do anything. So you men charge the regiment of horse in the back. You men tie up the general's bodyguard, my pikes will join in. Push my infantry out of this combat to try and surround the garrison guards. You men push up, surround and destroy the 8th. There we go, my pikes engage the remaining regiment of horse. There they come, shuffling in with their fantastic hats. He's a Tercio pikeman. Not Swiss pikeman. Apparently the, the symbol has, they have guns, but they don't. Uh, all my guns engage. Oh, you got canister shot activated. You all engage the 30th. How it says switch to round shot, engage the 30th as well. Charge my melee infantry up on the right flank to support my general. Get the Walloon line to advance as well. Help out my general. Help out my cavalry unit, I should say. If we can get the 14th pushback, good. Get our line to form up, our regiment of horse to fall back, our pikes to fall back. See, look, they're charging the complete wrong direction. I don't fine. If you're not if you're not gonna charge them, you're just gonna run into the combat and be unprepared. Same with you, Pikeman. <clears throat> if you're gonna decide to be silly. Okay, my howitzers engage a second, my foot artillery engage a thirtieth. There we go. When I bash them in now they pathfind okay.
There we go. It's the Russian line infantry. They're not slouches, that's for sure. When it comes to melee combat. The 30th is the last unit. The last regular unit on the field. This Russian line infantry unit is probably going to fall. The 20th regiment, let's pull them out. Probably seeing my provincial cavalry, which to be honest needs to be replaced. And my Walloon line. Let my pikemen deal with them. Oh, one last Walloon guardsman fighting. He's, he's separated from his men. Yo, ooh. Go on, Tessier Pikeman, fight your way through this brave man. He needs some help, damn it. And this line infantryman. So who does the guard? The guardsman hasn't killed anyone yet, but he's. There we go. The pikemen are getting here. Don't die now. No. He was so close. That's the man that killed him. This guy right here. He's in the front line. Does he get jabbed? That's the question. Oh, he's shuffled back. Got my eye on you, fella. I think he's that guy. I think he got... Oh, I lost him. Oh well. Let's speed up time because there's only that one regiment of line infantry left. There we go. Excellent. So they will hopefully fall back. Oh, they've only got 400 men remaining. Back you go. So, Mr. Cuesta, advance towards the bridge. And be ready to push. Okay, let's hit end turn. Keep our men that are advancing, advancing. Ah, my spy died trying to infiltrate Archangels. <laughs> he might stand out a bit, I guess. Mm. You have no schools of your own. You must try and steal our glorious research. But soon there will be nothing left to research, for all of the things mankind could know, we already know. No need for Hadron Colliders here. Hello. They might sally from Esfahan. Because they are bringing a lot of firepower to bear. Although they do seem a bit ragtag in where they're actually going to deploy it. There we go. That's what the sort of thing we're expecting to see. But this will actually be really good for us. Because if we deploy back, the mortars won't do anything. The garrison will be destroyed. And this force, these two armies here that are joining. So it's going to be this guy and this guy, not this guy. They will be destroyed. But looking at the timer, I think that's probably a good time to end the episode. So... Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the defence outside the gates of Esfahan. Cheers everyone.